Hello friends, this is Deepak Agrawal. I am director at Disha Publication. I have been mentoring and guiding students since the last 15 years for the IIT J examinations and medical entrance examinations. So the J main exam is over. The expected cutoff according to our experts is around 115 to 116 marks. So anybody who is expecting a score around this should definitely gear up and start preparing for the J advanced examination which is around one and a half months later say that is 24th. May. So let us first of all understand the difference between the J main and the J advanced examination. So the first and the basic difference is that there is only one and single exam for the J main which consists of 90 questions and it gives you 3 hours to attempt the question paper and all the questions which come in the examination are single option correct questions. Whereas in the J advanced exams there are two examinations of 3 hours each. Each exam consists of all the three subjects that is physics, chemistry and mathematics and both the examinations are of 3 hours each. Uh, the students have to attempt around 60 questions in these 3 hours in both the examinations. So you have uh, you are given 2 chances to appear in 2 papers. Now coming to the questions in the J advanced examinations as you all must have seen the previous year question papers of J advanced. There are around 5 variety of questions which are being asked from the last few years. Uh, single option correct, multiple option correct that is uh, one, uh, one question can have more than one answers correct. Then you have passage based questions, then you have uh, multiple matching or single matching type of questions and integer answer questions. Earlier assertion reason type of questions were also asked but from the last three years these type of questions are not being asked. So we have broadly five types of questions. The students should understand that the level of difficulty automatically increases when you have to answer more than one option correct questions, when you have to uh, answer matching based questions and when you have to answer integer based questions where none of the options are given. Further there are you know different uh, variable kind of negative marking in this paper whereas in J main you have flat negative marking. Coming to the level of difficulty of the question paper in J main uh, if we say that there are around 25 to 30 percent easy questions or you can say knowledge or understanding based question there are around 5 to 10 percent of such questions in the J advanced examination only. Coming to the applied questions, there are around 40 to 50 percent uh, questions which are applied in nature in J main, whereas such questions are around 50 to 60 percent in J advanced. Finally, the skill level questions that is of the highest of order of difficulty or they require tough calculations or time consuming questions, they are around 20 to 25 percent in J main, whereas in J advanced, the number of such questions will vary to 30 to 40 percent. Most of the students feel that more the input they give for a particular exam, the brighter their chances are of getting success in that exam. But let me tell you my, my dear friends, it's my experience that it is not just the input, it is the output which is more important because I have seen a lot of students who knows a lot, who have worked hard, who have toiled hard for two years but finally when it comes to the actual examination, either they are not able to manage their temperament or they are not able to attempt the question paper in the proper sequence or in proper order so as to maximize their score and they get failed. So it is very important that students should focus both on input as well as output. What I mean by input and output let me just explain you that. By input what I mean to say is whatever study hours or whatever things you are studying for the examination they all will form the part of input whatever the tests you appear in, whatever the mock examinations you appear in, they all will form the part of the input. And what I mean by output is maintaining your examination temperament during the actual examination and then the examination test taking strategy. Both are very important because your strategy can definitely improve your score. So what kind of input you have to put in so as to maximize your score in the 24th May examination. Now dear friends, I would advise all of you not to jump to new chapters, new topics which you haven't covered till date or which are your weak points. You must prepare and revise whatever you have done so far because your J main examination has already been done and uh, your one level of preparation is through. So you must build on from there and you must focus on the areas which you are confident at, which you are, have mastered which you feel you can score the most. So I would advise you to prepare a plan, revise each and every chapter one by one, focus upon the concepts and practice lot of questions 
lot of mcqs of all variety of questions until because practice makes a man perfect we all know that but when it comes to implementation student forget and they fail so you must not forget that and you must implement the strategy because practice is ultimately going to not only help you in improving your uh, in solving the questions but will also help you in solving the questions in minimum amount of time so how do i prepare in this one and a half months so that i clear the jee advanced examination so i have devised a five step strategy which you must follow you can just see the diagram here so the first step is revision of chapters you must revise the chapters quickly and uh, you must notice take notice of all the formulas all the key concepts of the chapter now this sh should be followed by practicing a lot of questions obviously simple mcqs then more than one correct then you have various kinds of books the challenger series by disha publication is a very popular series you must definitely uh, go for this book series uh, we have three books for physics chemistry separate books for physics chemistry and mathematics so they have been essentially prepared for this particular period only so uh, you must practice lot of questions these books contain all variety of questions so you will get lot of practice and you have solutions to all the questions so you can immediately see the solution also whether the way you have answered the question is the right method or not is it the shortest method or not so these books will help you in developing all that and then the third step is you should start appearing in mock tests until unless you appear in mock tests you would not know where you stand because lot of students feel that i know the subject but when it comes to actually appearing in a test they are not able to apply themselves in a limited amount of time and they finally fail so it's better that you do mistakes in your home rather than doing the mistakes in the actual exam so you must appear in various mock tests and you must analyze each and every mock test after uh, checking your performance your marks you must analyze why you have done a particular question wrong what happened why couldn't you attempt this question because these will give you your weak areas they they will suggest you your weak points which you must immediately work upon by working upon your basics so that is the fourth step that is evaluating and analyzing your performance in the test and finally drawing up your plan uh, again a plan that how you are going to update this how you are going to improve on this by going through the basics again so this is the five step uh, strategy which you have to follow which you have to continuously follow so as to zero in uh, your best output producing your best output while preparing you must also focus on the trend analysis of the various question papers uh, the disha target jee advanced book will give you the complete trend analysis of the past jee advanced papers it will tell you which are the most important topics from which questions have been asked in the previous years for example in physics mechanics is very important thermodynamics is very important you have uh, questions every year being asked optics you have around 2 3 questions which are being asked then you have modern physics you know you must understand that within modern physics on what concepts the you know questions have been asked in previous years so the trend analysis will tell you then uh, similarly in mathematics you must work upon calculus are very hard because calculus is a very important area and a lot of questions come from that even algebra and coordinate geometry is very important complex numbers uh, which are a part of the algebra portion are very important so you must focus upon those areas by going through the trend analysis of the exam because the trend analysis will only tell you which are the important areas in chem uh, chemistry uh, you know uh, organic chemistry is very all the three chemistry parts are important because you have equal number of questions but uh, the general organic chemistry is very essential then you have you know chemical bonding very important atomic structure is very important then you have again uh, physical portion lot of chapters are very important so you must find out from the trend analysis which are the most important topics and you must prepare them very uh, seriously and you must master them very seriously so let's see what are the do's and don'ts uh, for the jee advance examination you must see the past papers of jee advance examination this should be the first and foremost thing which you must see because they will only tell you what kind of questions are asked what is expected what level of difficulty comes in the examination what is expected from you second is that you must work upon uh, the areas which you are already prepared with do not think that uh, you have left this chapter for jee mains so now you can prepare this for jee advance uh, friends let me tell you one and a half months is very less period where you can master upon uh, certain chapters which you have not been able to master in the past one or two years 
further uh, you are not supposed to score 100 percent marks or 70 percent marks or 50 60 or 80 percent marks in this exam if you work upon the areas which you have already worked upon if you attempt the questions related to that in the actual examination in best of the way you will definitely get through so draw a complete revision and practice plan wherein the three subjects physics chemistry and mathematics they should be drawn upon every day you must work upon physics also chemistry also and mathematics also so you must divide your work hours between the three subjects then you must give work to all the chapters throughout the one and, one and a half months you must complete your preparation uh, this revision plan uh, within the next 30 to 35 days that is 10 15 days before the actual examination one level of preparation should be done so this revision and practice plan is very important and you must stick to that and when i mean practice you must practice a lot of questions in every chapter because that will only give you confidence to crack the j advanced examination now appear in a lot of mock tests uh, say it is very difficult to say that you must appear in one test or five tests or ten tests but i uh, what i strongly feel is if you uh, appear in five to six tests three three hours of uh, two tests that is paper one and paper two very seriously in examination hall conditions that should give you a lot of confidence that should give you that should tell you a lot of uh, your weak areas your temperament issues whether you are able to generate proper output or not in those three hours so five to six mock tests are definitely a must for every student not just appearing in a test your analysis of the test is more important than appearing in the test because if you do not analyze your question paper properly you are not going to land anywhere you because the analysis part will help you in spotting your weak areas and working upon them to improve in that particular section in that particular chapter and that uh, this is going to improve your final score so analysis is very important because you get feedback from there Why, while preparing for a chapter you would definitely come across a lot of points a lot of places where you'll have doubts do not keep your doubts to yourself ask your friends you must be having definitely friends who will be better than you or maybe equally good but uh, probably they might be good in that particular topic you must consult your teachers you must go to them and ask and make sure that you are you know thorough thorough with that particular topic or doubt and you are a confident enough to attempt questions on that particular topic while uh, within this one month of preparing you must keep on uh, building some short notes which you can you know uh, uh, which will become handy when uh, in the last week or last three to four days for the examination wherein you can just revise those key concepts or problems or certain points or certain formulas which will give you that extra confidence which is required to crack the JE advanced examination in the last week uh, you must appear in two or three mock tests because uh, just near the examination you should definitely check whether your preparation is at the right momentum you must uh, appear in those six hours of testing so that in the final examination you give your best so as i said in total you should appear in six tests so last week two to three tests and three to four tests in the 10 days before that in the last 15 days you must appear in five to six tests that is what i have mentioned so again analysis has to be done you if you spend six hours of testing you must spend three to four hours on the analysis part of it that will again give you certain important tips which will help you improve your score and let me tell you my dear friends even if you score improve your score by two marks that will definitely improve your ranking in the final examination and then finally one day before the examinations examination just chill out and relax don't uh, panic don't move around in the market or uh, anywhere just relax and keep your com compose maintain yourself so that you are fresh for the final day you must sleep well you must eat nominally and just chill out don't panic and don't think that there is any tension just see as if you are appearing in another test and let me tell you j advance will be yours thank you very much i hope this will definitely help you